so now we are done with the with the modeling this is all for the modeling so we are going to do the analysis and then the the design okay so you can go to analysis you go to build the analysis so under the analysis you can go to the parameters then you go to foundation the allowable stress of the soil let me use um 80 80 kN per meter squared then for the soil subgrade let me click on select then i'm going to pick dense sand for the lower unit that will be 120,000. okay so that will be for that then you click on ok so i'll come to loading you go to loading generator i'll create for unfactored here just take it with the notion now and then you click on ok so i have this click on ok then you go to um edit material okay so under the edit material for the concrete columns so i will make my column to be c25 slash 30 and then the grade for the grade 14 is enough for the reinforcement i will just pick 16 mm and then 20 mm so that's okay and then i'm done with that then i'll come to link um i'll pick it and 10 for the concrete column all right then for the steel columns i'm going to pick s355 for the steel columns then the the steel beam i'm going to pick 355 as well and then the the brace where's the brace okay this is the brace i'll pick 275 for brace okay so that's all i need here then you can go to foundation for the foundation let me use c25 slash c30 then 14 is enough then i'll pick 12 16 and then 20 okay then the soil leave it as sand then link link i'll pick it and then 10 so click on ok and that is all for the pre-analysis so i'll go to wind load i need um wind load so i'll come to wind load calculator oh sorry i've not defined i didn't define for the wind load so click on ok so go to loading combination loading generator and then uh, create unfactored so here yeah, i'm creating wind load all right i'm creating wind load take it with the notion now so um okay all right so okay so you come to wind and story load then you come to wind load calculator then here i'm going to use um 45 and here i'm going to use 0 0.8 all right so all these ones um the distance to see up in the town i uh, was called the site type if it is town or country all of this you can just leave it as it is all right then click on apply then if i expand you will see that it has um it has done the needful so just click on okay okay so that's all then you you can come to model option and then you go to settings i don't want to use pass server then you can go to analysis you do the bidding analysis we do the column design so make sure this bidding analysis is checked yeah checked then we want to do the column because we have column at the you know we have the concrete column and then you do for the steel bus you understand the steel bus so click on start okay so we are done click on okay okay so let's see um the results just come to um come to the visual interrogation here this one then you go to design status which is here click on design status then click on ok so you can see everything is in green which tells you that everything passed if there is anything that fails you can see the steel beam the steel column the bracing everything is in green and then the column all of them are in green that tells you that they have passed the analysis and the design sorry they've passed the design
so if there's anyone that feels you see it in red color if there's a one you see it in yellow and then you understand so that's good enough let's go to the foundation we have to model the beam that connects the column at the foundation so we have a strip foundation for that we have a strip footing for that and then we can have a part footing for the for the column so we can go to plan the under story zero i can connect these beams okay so you have a concrete beam you can pick the concrete beam so i'll make the concrete beam to be 230 by um 600 okay 230 sorry this is 23 this should be 230 230 by 600 for the for the foundation so connect this and this to um, this to this and then here okay so you close all right so if that is done we can now insert the strip footing to the beams and then part footing to the to the column so click on this column and then click on insert part base okay so the footing depth i don't want it to be more than 300 300 is enough so and then all of this just leave it as it is so click on let this be y12 for now let's say this is y12 okay then click on calculate okay i want the square footing so one four by one four okay y12 175 click on okay and then okay okay so that's the part base for that one four by one four click this column as well do the same thing inside part base 300 y12 calculate okay so okay 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 so that is for that so we'll keep on going okay you can just check the setting but the setting is still the the actual one so just calculate okay and lastly for this column okay okay so one four by one four only this is one two by one two the rest are one four by one four okay so for this beam i'm going to insert a strip footing for it so the strip footing i want to use 12 mm for the strip okay and then the left hand side cantilever i will use um 600 now use um 450 this other one too 450 okay then the footing width yeah you can leave all this then the depth i'll use 300 for the depth then the taper height leave that as that okay so click on design okay so it will show you the um the axial force and then the moment and everything just click on okay all right then okay so you have the the strip foot in here all right so and then the same thing here insert strip footing okay so i want this to be 450 and then 450 and then this should be 300 okay so click on design click on okay then okay all right then do the same thing for this um insert strip footing um 450 450 300 then design okay okay 
then we have this then insert strip footing just the same um, the same approach okay so design okay and then okay okay so now we have the strip footing and the part footing you can see it in 3d okay so this is how it's this is how it looks like you can see this is how it looks like uh, you have to design the the beam the foundation beam all right so you can come to concrete design then you go to beam reinforcement design then you go to foundation um foundation beams okay so you see the beams are not designed so what you just need to do is you can do a batch design then you click on calculate and then you close so i just need to do is click on interactive design and then um there is no problem of the reinforcement and we don't have problem of the deflection so just click on i think everything is good to waste things wasting just click on ok so that has design that you can see the um utilization ratio so interactive design for this as well um we don't have a problem here too so okay and here interactive design any problem no problem okay okay then here any problem no problem at all okay so now we are done with the design of the foundation beams as well so you can just close okay so now we have everything in check all right we have the the, the foundation beam designed we have the the steel structure design so everything is now model analyzed and designed so we can transfer this to Prita steel to do the detailing of the connection you know we can do the internally connect for the for the connection you know here here you can see for example here where you have one column and then this other column you can see there is a splice in between so we can put you know we can we have to do some connections there and then the bracing so we have to do um a proper connection for the for the bracings you understand then the beam the beam column connections all of them we have to put a proper connection for them so that will be done in Prota steel if your Prota steel is not active you need to check um a video i made where you can repair your Prota steel so make sure you have that ready before we we, before I upload the next video. Thanks for watching.